गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल टूडे वी विल सॉल्व वन मोर न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चन ऑन लेप्लेसियन कर्नल सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू परफॉर्म द कॉन्वोल्यूशन ऑपरेशन ऑफ लेप्लेसियन कर्नल एल फोर विद दिस गिवेन डिजिटल इनपुट इमेज अनदर थिंग विच वी हैव टू टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन सो इन ऑर्डर टू एक्सटेंड द इमेज वी हैव टू कंसिडर द बॉर्डर पिक्सल वैल्यूज सो लेट एस सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन so this is the input digital image and on this digital input image we have to perform the convolution operation using the laplacian l4 kernel so let me draw the laplacian l4 kernel in laplacian l4 kernel the center coefficient it is minus 4 four neighborhood pixels having the coefficient 1 and remaining all it having the coefficient 0 in order to perform the convolution operation we have to rotate this l4 mask by 180 degree in anti clockwise direction so we will perform this 180 degree anti clockwise rotation in two intermediate steps in first step we will rotate this mask by 90 degree in anti clockwise direction now if you rotate this mask by 90 degree in anti clockwise direction this first row it becomes the first column this second row it becomes the second column and this third row it becomes the third column so this is our l4 mask when rotated by 90 degree in anti clockwise direction now this now this intermediate results we have to further rotate by 90 degree in anti clockwise direction in order to obtain total 180 degree anti clockwise rotation so we will rotate this intermediate results again by 90 degree in anti clockwise direction so if you rotate this uh, intermediate results by 90 degree in anti clockwise direction this first row it becomes the first column this second row it becomes the second column and this third row it becomes the third column so finally this is our l4 mask when rotated by 180 degree in anti clockwise direction now the center of this rotated mass that is minus 4 we have to place at all these pixels and we have to compute the response so before computing the response for all these pixels location let me extend this image with the, with their boundary pixels values for example for this boundary pixels this boundary pixel having the pixel intensity value 100 so i will write here 100 similarly this uh, this border pixel having the intensity level 100 so i will write here 100 similarly this border pixel having the intensity level 100 so i will write here 100 similarly at this position since the border pixel value it is 200 so i will write here 200 similarly at this point i will write 200 at this point i will write 200 now in this side all border pixels having the intensity value 200 so i will write here 200 now along this side these three pixels having the intensity value 200 these three border pixels having the intensity value 
so I will write here 200 similarly for this position since my border pixel value it is 100 so I will write here 100 at this position my border pixel value it is 100 so I will write here 100 at this position my border pixel value it is 100 so I will write here 100 now along this side since all the border pixels having the intensity value 100 so I will write here 100 Next we will target the corner positions. Now at this corner since these two pi now at this corner since these two pixel having the intensity value 100 so I will write here 100. Now at this corner since both of these pixel having the intensity value 100 so I will write here 100 now at this corner since both of these pixel having the intensity value 200 so I will write here 200 and at this corner since both of these pixel having the intensity value 200 so I will write here 200 next in order to draw the output image we have to target the dimension of the input image since the dimension of the input image it is 6 cross 6 six number of rows and six number of column so my output image will also have the same dimension six cross six so let me draw an output image which having the dimension six cross six that is six number of rows and six number of columns now we will place the center of uh, now we will place the center of this rotated mass at all these pixels location and we will compute the response so first we will place the center of this mask at this point and we will compute the response so the center of this rotated mask we will place at this point and we will perform the pixel by pixel multiplication so this pixel intensity value 100 will be multiplied with this filter coefficient minus 4 next for this pixel we will target its four neighborhood pixels one two three four so all four four neighborhood pixels having the intensity value 100 which will be multiplied with the filter coefficient one so four number of four neighborhood pixels having the intensity value 100 will be multiplied with the filter coefficient one if you compute the overall response it is minus 400 plus 400 which is equals to 0 so for this particular pixel locations we have computed the response that is equals to 0 so in the output image let me write here the response that is equals to 0 similarly if you place the center of this mask at, at these positions at these pixels locations so if the center of this rotated mass it is placed at all these pixels location we will get the same response that is equals to 0. So in the output image for all these pixels locations I will write the same response that is equals to 0. So let me write the response for all these pixels location which is equals to 0. next the center of this rotated mask we will place at this pixel location and we will compute the response 
So when we place the center of this rotated mass at this pixel's location, this hundred, this pixel intensity hundred will be multiplied with this filter coefficient minus four. Now for this pixel, we will target its four neighborhood pixels. One, two, three, four. Among these four neighborhood pixels, three neighborhood pixels having the intensity value hundred, which will be multiplied with the coefficient one. So three number of neighborhood pixels, three number of four neighborhood pixels having the intensity value hundred will be multiplied with the filter coefficient one, and one number of four neighborhood pixels. Having the intensity value 200 will be multiplied with the filter coefficient 1. So one number of four neighborhood pixels having the intensity value 200 will be multiplied with the filter coefficient 1. If you compute the response, it is minus 400 plus 300 plus 200, which is equals to 100. So for this particular pixels location. For this particular pixel location, we have computed the response. It is equals to hundred. So let me write the response here. It is equals to hundred in the output image. Similarly, similarly, if we place the center of this rotated mass at all these pixels locations, we will get the same response. That is equals to hundred. So in the output image for all these pixels locations. Let me write the response. It is equals to hundred. Next. The center of this rotated mass we will place at this pixel location and we will compute the response. If we place the center of this rotated mass at this pixel location, this pixel intensity 200 will be multiplied with this filter coefficient minus four. Next, for this pixel we will target its four neighborhood pixels one, two, three, four. Among its four neighborhood pixels. One neighborhood pixels, one four neighborhood pixel having the intensity value hundred will be multiplied with this filter coefficient one. So one number of four neighborhood pixels having the intensity value hundred will be multiplied with the filter coefficient one, and three numbers of four neighborhood pixels having the intensity value two hundred will be multiplied with the filter coefficient one. So three number of Four neighborhood pixels having the intensity value 200 will be will be multiplied with the filter coefficient one. So if you compute the overall response, it is equals to minus 800 plus 100 plus 600. If you compute the overall response, it is minus 100. So for this particular pixel location, we have computed the response. It is equals to minus 100. So let me write. it in the output image so for this location we have computed the response it is minus 100 similarly if you place the center of this rotated mass at these pixels locations and if you compute the response you will get the same response that is minus 100 so for these pixels locations in the output image i will write the response that is minus 100 So finally we will place the center of this rotated mask at this pixel location and we will compute the response so if we place the center of this rotated mask at this pixel locations so this pixel intensity 200 will be multiplied with this filter coefficient minus 4 
and next we will target its four neighborhood pixels one two three four so four neighborhood pixels all four neighborhood pixels having the same intensity value 200 which will be multiplied with the coefficient one so all four numbers of four neighborhood pixels having the intensity value 200 will be multiplied with the filter coefficient one and if you compute the response it is equals to it is equals to minus 800 plus 800 which is equals to 0 so for this particular pixel location we have computed the response which is equals to 0 so in the output image let me write the response for this pixel location we have computed the response which is equals to 0 similarly Similarly, if the center of this rotated mask, we will place at all these pixels locations. And if you compute the response for all these pixels location, we will get the same response that is equals to 0. So let me write the response for all these pixels locations, which is equals to 0 in the output image. So with this, we have performed the convolution operation on this digital input image using this Laplace and L4 kernel and we have obtained our output image and with this, this question is over. Thank you all.